Okay, now that you have your Word document open, I'm going to show you how to complete this assignment. So the first thing you need to do is scroll down to page 2. In page 2, you can see the procedure. Number 1 tells you to go to this link so that you can see a 3D version of the brain. If you select this link okay, and copy it, you can go to Google Chrome and you can just select a new tab and paste your link. It is very possible that it might ask you right up here in the corner and all of this will be black that you need to um, download Adobe Flash. You click on it and allow it and then you'll be good to go. Over in the top right hand corner is the 3D brain. So you click on 3D brain. And from here you can find the different lobes. So you can spin the brain around and you can see um, if you hover over them the names of each of the lobes and they are in different colors. These colors are different from the colors that we are going to use to label our brain. So if I go back to my Word document, I can see that the very first lobe that I need to color in is the frontal lobe, and it needs to be purple. So comparing the two, if you split your screens, you can see that this is the frontal lobe, and you can see that there's a dark crevice in between the frontal lobe and the parental lobe. And that dark crevice is represented here in your diagram by this dark line. So basically we need to create a shape that goes all the way around the front of this brain and then connects back and then we need to color it purple and we also need to make the purple transparent. So I'm going to make this full screen and I'm going to go to my insert tab. From my insert tab I'm going to find the shapes button and then I'm going to click on the scribble. Scribble is um, basically just a line that kind of just looks like it's like loosely drawn. I click on that and my cursor is going to become a plus. From there, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to trace this area. I must hold down my mouse and move my mouse following the black lines all the way around here. I'm going to try to make this follow the black line as um, closely as possible. Get off just a little that's okay you don't need to completely restart so right here I'm going to come up and follow this black line if you do have to stop make sure you keep your mouse held down and you do not release it okay and then when I reach this meet this line at the top it will fill in a color so now I'm going to let go of my mouse and this is all blue but I can't see through it so I know I need to change it to purple so I'm going to come up here to my format tab and click on shape fill select a purple. I'm also going to change my outline color to purple because right now it's blue. And then I'm going to come back to shape fill and find more fill colors. From the more fill colors box I can now change the transparency. And right now I can't see what it looks like but I do know that my transparency needs to be about 50. So when I do that I click OK. And now I have a transparent uh, frontal lobe. Um, you can click on the shape and then you can start uh, typing. So labeling it frontal lobe and I don't want it to go over onto the other lobe so I'm going to hit enter and separate it. Um, this is one way of labeling the frontal lobe. You can also go back to your insert tab and insert a text box. So I'm going to draw a text box. I'm going to type frontal lobe and then I'm going to get an arrow. So go back to insert shapes, get an arrow, go from the frontal lobe to the actual drawing of the frontal lobe. And then this is a really light blue, so I'm going to change this to a black. And I'm also going to make it thicker, so I'm going to go down to weight. I'm going to make this a thicker um, arrow so it's easier to see. So this is what you'll be doing for each of the lobes of the brain and the different parts. So the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. And when you're done, we'll move on to the inside of the brain.